Hello YouTube, this is a video describing the, the performance difference between Cubase 9 and Cubase 9.5 in a queue that I wrote that was a MIDI mock-up of Duel of the Fates. So I'll go to Studio, which is used to be called Devices. Go to Studio Setup, and we'll go ahead and change the buffer size. The queue works fine with a buffer size of 256, but when I'm introducing this, this audio track, it actually affects the performance of the queue. So I'm going to change change it to 512 and then if you'll notice we have 32 bit for processing precision and we're doing high for the guard level and that should do it so here's the queue now keep an eye on the cpu for cubase and also the audio performance. Now, when I ran this in Cubase 9, I had to have a buffer size of 2048. So right now, even with the audio track, there's a fourfold improvements in the audio. Now, the system I'm running it on is a 12 core, and it's each of the cores is running at 3.33 gigahertz. So just to give you an idea of this system. Now, the reason my audio sounds a little weird is because there's a large delay. So here we go from what I'm saying and what I am hearing. So you see, we have a lot of instruments in this queue. Here's the, uh, the brass. And there's the woodwinds. And there's your percussion, there's choir, and also, of course, strings. Okay, so now the choir is going to come back in at measure 21. Okay, it was actually measure 37. For some reason, uh, the transport regressed. So here we are at 37. Okay. 
Okay, now here comes the next section. Now the instruments that I used are primarily uh, Berlin strings, Berlin woodwinds, and Berlin uh, percussion, and Berlin brass. Now, were the instruments that I couldn't find in the Berlin, Berlin series? <laughs> it's really weird with this delay. I used VSL to supplement. So if you notice, we didn't have any spikes in the audio performance. And again, if we go to Studio Setup, which used to be Devices, we see that we're just using a buffer size of 512. And there are about 90 tracks, actually 92, 93, and some of them are uh, marker tracks but, as well as um, VCA tracks, but quite a few instrument tracks. So this is Bill McFadden from Tome Pure. If you like this comparison, then uh, click like. And if you want to be notified of updates, then please subscribe. So Bill McFadden signing off.